60 diesels. So on today's, let's see if we can get that to start type of video. Ta-da! Um, this is a, pretty sure this is a man TGL. I'm not a great lorryist. Um, 12 ton, six cylinder, eight speed with a split. Might be 10 speed with a split, can't remember. I have to go and have a look in the cab. Um, she's done a few miles, like 1.35 millions. Um, it's left hand drive Dutch. Dutch? No. Belgian registered. Um, what happened to have sort of been bought as a customer, bought by a customer as the project delivered here, and then nothing really, well, sort of, this is as far as it got. We took the body off for him, and, um, and the fuel tank was knackered because it hasn't got a fuel tank. We'll have to get around that in a minute. And it's sort of sat here since. And I've got a wheel stuck on the back of it that I can't get off because some numpty put an alley wheel on the inside and it's grown itself to the hub. We'll get to that. But I thought it hasn't moved in, um, as you can see, quite a while. So maybe today, sunshine, bank holiday weekend, would be a time that a man could kick it into life, which will mean finding two good batteries because it's 24 volts. Anyway, and inventing a fuel tank. Here it goes. Right through the nettles. So, problem number one. Now, here should be a massive great fuel tank. These being the two fuel tank pickup connections. Two, one in, one out. Yeah, two. Two, isn't that? That was the third one then. Oh, I suppose the third one's the gauge, isn't it? So, I'm going to need to invent a fuel vessel to sit here with some dental in it. So a man's thinking, a uh, plastic can, poke these two in it, cranky cranky it over a bit. Might start. So, hang on a minute. We'll just go and remove the collection of... Well, technically they call it sticky willy, but we call it teaser, whatever it is. Out of the engine bay. So, Eaton gearbox, M-A-N. She's big, straight six. Last of the sensible m m mechanical ones. That's a balls tank strap that someone's cut off. Top quality, that can go over there, we don't want that. Let's go and find some stuff. <laughs> right, so what I have invented here is a, well, it's a portable fuel cell, you know. It's, honestly, it's not a, um, and had blue container with the top cut off of it at all, you know, because that wouldn't be very professional. Right, so. Also, a load of manky red tape. That round everything. I'll take that off. No, that didn't work, did it? That just wrapped your hand up, you numpty. I think we'll just get a pen knife out, be quicker, won't it? Perfect. Right, so we have big fuel filter. That's the filter supply lines. We need to chop that in there, don't we? Hang on, a bit of rubber escape in there. Oh, yes, look at that. What fun a brick to hold it in there with. And then we have, oh, that's the return, obviously. So are we both? No, we're not submerged. I'm not going to go down here on the floor. No, oh, that's got it. Right, so we'll call that a fuel cell. That'll stay there, will it? I'll pick up my rubbish. Right, so what I've assembled here is two half assed slightly flat lorry batteries that we have to have kicking around. series. She starts to run. Right, let's get this one. Slug it out. Yes. Ooh, yeah, 
flashing so we're live. Blow me it off. Okay. Right, what we ought to do. I haven't found the keys. Quite easy because they're the only one in the key box with MAN written on them. And we'll see, yeah, uh, we got any stuff in the can. Right. Ooh. Open it. Hop in here. See if we've got any knife. Excuse me. Worry, worry noises and some light. Yes. One million three hundred and thirty one thousand and four kilometers. Just running. Whatever you want to do. That's all falling off. Go in around the front and just see if we've um, got oils and stuff like that, I suppose. <coughs> right, now, theory. Somewhere along here, this bit should open. Where's the silly handle for... That feels like the release handle. It appears to be seized. Ooh. It's definitely there. Oh, that'll do it. Ooh, look at all this. Right. We definitely have coolant. Just check the tank isn't actually stained pink and there's nothing in it. Oh. Nope, she's got pink stuff in her. Dipstick, there. Oh, we've got oils. Right. Everything essential to make a vehicle sort of possibly w work. Oh dear. Let me get that right. Oh, nope, nope, she's gone. Well, I'll just close that again. Don't spend too much time looking at that lot now. Really. Right, Tony over at Starty Start Hitch. Right, I suppose man ought to climb up in here. Ooh. See what happens. It is a four speed, eight speed, so four speeds split. No, that, did, that didn't do anything, did it? Might need to go and check the battery connection terminal things down here, mightn't we? Let's just hit them with this. Yep, that'll firm them up nicely. Let's try that again. No, we're going to need a battery pack, aren't we? Let's go and find a booster pack. Right, booster pack. I'm going to have to go and try and find some good batteries in a minute. That will be really difficult. So, that's definitely a positive. That's definitely a negative. Negative. <laughs> it's a dying of fag inhalation. Right, set it to 24 volts. Let's try again. Oh. Right, engage full scale lorrying. Up, 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 up. Yeah, I know you've got no air pressure and. Oh. We are away. Don't know how long we're going to stay away because we might. Um... Have we got oil pressure? Yes, we have. We'll let it take over a bit because obviously we didn't have a fuel tank, so it's going to have to drag some fuel through, so it'll probably cut out in a minute. Oh! Sounds sweet, isn't that? Yes. See if we start generating any air, I suppose. I haven't got any air at the moment. I can tell that because my seat doesn't go up and down, and the clutch pedal weighs 30 tonnes. Seats going up. Yeah. Oh, 
appear to have an in-cab air leak as well. I wonder where that's coming from. Ah, it's off me seat. What's going on with my seat? Oh, someone's been buggering around the buttons. Right, but now we do seem to have air, but we don't seem to have anything happening with the rear suspension. Now, it has got this here funky control for lifting the rear suspension, which used to work. Ooh, that looks promising. Oh, yeah, look at that. She's alive. Go back down again? Probably won't go back down again because it's got no weight on it, has it? Right. So, rear suspension alive, truck alive. Annoying air leak in the cab, out the seat for some strange reason. It's not bad after a year and a half, is it? Yeah. I'm going to go and check on the temporary fuel cell, see if that's working. I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys with me. As a sweet as a nut, isn't it? Right. I'll go and have a look at me. So we appear to have uh, blown up airbags on the back. Both of them. That's good. That's the wheel that I've got stuck on that I've got to jack off somehow. We have been lubricating it forever. I'll just creep round here. Oop. Don't catch your knackers on that. Let's go and have a look at how my temporary fuel cell is functioning. Ugh. Oh, yeah. That's working a treat, isn't it? Right. I suppose might as well see if it. I'm going to stay on there if I try and move it. Yeah, it is. Let me go forwards a little bit. Sadly, I've abandoned a dead veto behind it. It definitely doesn't go. So we might see if the old uh, MAN. I mean, she's going to have a thing, isn't she? We'll move because a man at some point in a minute is going to have to attempt some strimming again. Right, let's get one up, up in the cab. See if it moves. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my seat is having a very funky moment, isn't it? Yeah, we'll worry about that later. Oh, me lucky windows work. Yes, they do. What on earth has happened to my seat? Ooh, right, first. Ooh, it will move. Definitely moving. About as far as we can go. My splitter working. Yes. What is wrong with my seat? Definitely something gone wrong there, isn't it? Well, apart from the seat, all seems to be fine. With your MAN sat after being sat for a year and a half with no fuel tank half in bits. Yes, it will. I'm a bit short, but anyway. Ow, 60 diesels. I'll go get me batteries back and take my temporary fuel tank off. Thank you very much, guys.